I'm Henry Louis Gates Jr. and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the announcement of the winners of the Anisfield Wolf Book Awards for 2021. In my day job, I'm a professor at Harvard and I host the PBS series Finding Your Roots. But I'm especially honored to be the chair of the jury for the Anisfield Wolf Book Awards. And here are my fellow jurors presenting this year's winners. My name is Rita Dove, and I am the Henry Hoynes Professor of Creative Writing at the University of Virginia. It is my great pleasure and honor to announce this year's winner in poetry for the Annisfield Wolf Award, Victoria Chang for her book, Obit. When I first opened Victoria Chang's book, Obit, I was immediately drawn into the entire idea of the book, the idea that an entire book of poems would be constructed like little obituaries. And my initial wonderment that that could even work changed quickly to feeling haunted by these poems. I entered into them to the depths of their bereavement. She takes you on such a, a, an incredible journey of, of grief and a circling around the very many ways in which we deal with loss that I felt sometimes that I was, I didn't even know that those depths of emotion existed. I find myself haunted by this book and I want to go back and read it over and over again. It made me feel like a stronger person. It made me want to be a stronger person. And that to me is worth all the prizes in the world. I'm Joyce Carol Oates. I'm a professor at Princeton University. And I've also taught recently at NYU and at Rutgers. I've been a juror with the wonderful Distinguished Annisfield Wolf Awards for several years. And today I'm very happy to present our Fiction Award winner, James McBride's Deacon King Kong. It's a brilliantly imagined, larger than life, tragicomic epic of intertwined lives in a vividly rendered neighborhood in Brooklyn in the 1960s. Brash, riotous, hyper-energetic, this richly entertaining novel is yet suffused with some of the tenderness of McBride's memoir, The Color of Water, which received an Annisfield Wolf nonfiction award several years ago. Deacon King Kong is a wild ride in which joy and terror are mixed, as well as skepticism and optimism. I particularly admired the author's refusal to end in disorder and tragedy, to defiantly reverse expectations at the conclusion. In all, this is a novel that you will love and respect. My name is Steven Pinker. I am a cognitive scientist and a professor in the Department of Psychology at Harvard University and a juror for the Annisfield Wolf Book Prizes in the Literature of Diversity. And I am very pleased to announce one of the winners of the 2021 Prize in Nonfiction, Tacky's Revolt, the story of an Atlantic slave war by Vincent Brown. Tacky's Revolt has been called a geopolitical thriller. It is about a remarkable and important event in the history of the world, largely unknown, and I have to confess that I was completely ignorant of it until I picked up this book of a major slave revolt, a revolt of enslaved peoples in Jamaica in 1760, involving a story of the skills of warfare brought over by enslaved peoples from their homes in Africa, the reverberations of the British colonial empire, and indeed of people's perception of the agency of enslaved peoples. Now, not only did Vincent Brown do heroic work in original scholarship, but this is a particular hobby horse of mine. He did not write it in academies. It is a lively and well-written book. On behalf of my fellow jurors, I wanted to recognize Vincent Brown for this achievement and to also bring this event to the world's attention rather than allowing it to lie in obscurity. 
Hello, I'm Simon Sharma. I'm Professor of Art History and History at Columbia University, the author of far too many books and the presenter of far too many television programs, and I'm a bit of a journalist too. But I'm also someone whose life can be transformed by a great book, which is the reason why I'm so thrilled to announce the Annisfield Wolf Book Award for Nonfiction to Natasha Trethewey for her extraordinary book, Memorial Drive, A Daughter's Memoir. For anyone who's going to read this book, uh, you'll immediately see this is a work of prose, but done by a majestically poetic sensibility. It's a book of tragedy. It's a book of family heartbreak. It recounts a trauma in the life of the daughter, the murder of her mother. But it's also set and delivers an extraordinary illumination about race relations in Mississippi and then in Atlanta as Natasha is growing up. It has immense emotional power delivered economically. When you read this book, you'll never forget the story. You'll live inside its gorgeous poetry and you'll come out differently. I guarantee that when you put the book down. I'm delighted that novelist and critic Samuel R. Delaney is our new Lifetime Achievement winner. The jury unanimously agreed that this groundbreaking science fiction writer belongs in the Annisfield Wolf Book Awards canon. Readers will know him from Babel 17, The Einstein Intersection, and Dahlgren, not to mention his indelible East Village-based memoir, The Motion of Light in Water. His friends know him as Chip Delaney, a nickname he gave himself at summer camp when he was 12 years old. His prescient fiction and his subtle literary criticism have helped us better know our humanity, and I'm thrilled that more readers will discover his brilliant writing because of this award. Please join us in October to celebrate each of these towering authors. Details to follow.